Coming up next, the matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. the tape for this lightweight scrap. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 16 points tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Rome, Italy, presenting the challenger, the assassin. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on. 24 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Evil. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. UFC lightweight title is on the line. Oh, can't wait for this, Joe Rogan. How good is this? UFC lightweight championship fight. As round one gets underway, there is... Oh!
great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Excellent sweep. Establishes north-south position. Showing some good defense here, trapping that arm. Working towards the mount, trying to mount him. And he gets reversed. Hits the reversal here and in the full guard. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Very nice sweep, winds up at his opponent's guard. He's putting his hands down on the thighs. He's looking to pass. Nice takedown. his back control. Into full guard. Nice reversal. Trying to spin to the back. Into side control again. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's got double underhooks, Joe. Beautiful timing with that takedown. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Transitions to full guard. Tries to move to half guard, but can't. Oh, he gets reversed. 90 seconds to go. And he winds up on top. Neither fighter's really doing anything. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. He moves to stacking him now. One minute to go in round one. Nice combination from the half guard here. Now he's inside control. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Nurmago Medov's worked in that underhook once again. That knee might have landed there. Battling for hooks. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Back to over under. 15 seconds. Oh, now he's got the tight clinch, Joe. Round one winding down here. Boy, Ty Plump, horn oh, sounds for the end of round one. And here's a nice punch that lands clean. And here's another punch that sneaks through. And here's another perfectly placed punch. What a great round. This fight is really shaping up. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual.
All right, here we go with round two. Now, starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Oh, slams it oh. down with conviction, man. He's going to try to take the back. Excellent movement here on the ground. Tries to pass, but doesn't make it. Busy as he looks to improve position here. They're locked in a clinch. He's got double underhooks here. One underhook here. Oh, nice timely trip there to get the takedown. That's interesting. That's high level stuff. Oh, nice strike for him on the ground here, Joe. He lands an elbow here. Mago Manov gets hit by another elbow. He is in the danger zone now. And he reverses position. Looking for the rear naked choke. He's got the arm under the chin. He's got that choke sunk in. And he gets it. Looking for that choke. Traps that arm. Very nicely done. He's got that arm under the neck. Grabs a hold of the bicep. He's got the hand behind the back. Outstanding. Outstanding. He got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he's been working on his submission game. That was really a choke that was set up perfectly. He got it sunk in deep, and his opponent was going to go to sleep if he didn't tap out, so... He took the lesser of two evils, and he's forced to tap. And here's the end. And here we see it from another angle. Beautiful technique here, and the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission, and the tap. So there he is, folks, the UFC lightweight champion. And Joe, he figured to beat any 155er in the world here tonight as clean a performance as he could have turned in. And ultimately, he gets the win by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still! Well, many argue it's the UFC's toughest weight class. It's one of the more difficult belts to defend, but he certainly did just that here tonight. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your winner by submission. And now all that's left to do is to celebrate with the corner. Big finish and a big result here tonight.